Hey there, folks. We'll be with you in a second. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Alex, are you all warmed up with all that John Philip Sousa music? You know, being an army brat, nothing gets me going for a live performance like listening to some John Philip Sousa. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. <laughs> what a ridiculous start. That's how it's going to be here on the quarantine happy hour tonight. What a thrill to be with you. Miss you all and can't wait to hang out and play tunes and be together in person. In the meantime, uh, looking forward to playing some music with you here tonight. We've got Big Al, Alex Lacomont on the guitar and bass. And I'm going to be playing some banjo, maybe a little bit of fiddle. And uh, oh, it's so good to, uh, to be with you here. Yeah. We're going to kick it off here with a, with a tune. One of my favorite old time numbers is called Waynesboro. off with a nice groovy little tune there that's Waynesboro let me just double check that everything's working cool hopefully it's all sounding good and looking good and uh, look forward to seeing some of you comment and uh, yeah cool well let's uh, keep it rolling here coming to you from my house in Baltimore here in the charm city this is a song that uh, I heard on a, on a record that I, one of the first old time albums I owned from this group out of Tennessee called the Real Time Travelers. Martha Scanlon wrote this one. It's called Little Bird of Heaven. There's a little bird of heaven right here in your hand. 
I looked up and I looked back Walked hundred miles on the railroad track All I can tell from where I stand Little bird of heaven right here in your hand Tell me it's a fragile thing It's hard to fly Broken wings Lost my ticket to the promised land Let a bird of heaven right here in your hand So toss it up and pass it around Pay mind to watch your carry Fallen hearts and fallen leaves Starlings lying on the broken trees Find we all need a place to land There's a little bird of heaven right here in your hand So toss it up and pass it round Pay mind to watch your carry So toss it up and pass it around Pay mind to watch your carrying around Keep it close, sonny, while you can Little booty head and right here in your hand Yeah, pretty song there from Martha Scanlon, that's Little Bird of Heaven. Okay, I'm going to jump on the gourd banjo now. Somebody was asking if we're going to play one of those uh, toilet bowl seat banjos that you oh, posted no, on no, Facebook no. earlier. That was from our tour in Arkansas. <laughs> that's right. And, uh, where was That was in uh, Hardy, Arkansas. Hardy. Yeah, that's right. Playing at the Hardy Junction Music Hall. Yeah, that was uh, the about toilet a, guitar. a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get to keep those. <laughs> All right, here's, a, here's another old-time tune, um, and I'm playing my gourd banjo. This was built right here in Baltimore by Pete Ross, who lives right around the corner. Great builder. It's got a goatskin head, this uh, wooden neck. And, of course, the banjo has African uh, ancestry, and this banjo sort of connects some of those dots, um, sort of a hybrid of some of those early gourd-type instruments and then the contemporary banjo. And we're going to do a tune here, um, one of my new favorites. It's called Old Aunt Jenny with her nightcap on.
Old Aunt Jenny, and then followed that up with a tune I wrote called Stony Run. That was the uh, title track of the latest album that my father and I put together. Alex is on that record as well. And we've got Rachel Eddy joining us on our new album, Stony Run, which came out, I can't say it's new anymore. I guess it came out about a year ago on March 15th. Still the newest thing that's been released. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, Although yeah. I'm in the in the process of working on a little solo record, mm. and I've never done one before, so I'm super excited about putting together something that's just like a banjo album. So that'll come sometime in the next five years, I hope. Planning to record it in the next couple months. Oh. Cool. Well, thanks so much. See so many people lighten up the comment section. My goodness. Mm. <laughs> I awesome. wish I could like participate with that as well as uh, here. Here yeah. playing music. Well, let's do one. Uh, let's do one, Alex, that uh, you've recorded. Yeah, I, I uh, was gonna release my album, and I just never got my act together last year, and I was uninspired by last year. <laughs> you know, you weren't the only one. Yeah, so I think you all get that. So I've got an album coming out this year that uh, got a lot of Brad on it because he's one of my best friends and love making music with him. And we did indeed. We did a. a duet recording on that but we also did this song that i learned from john hartford cheers everybody yeah thanks so much for tuning in as we keep rolling through these tunes here yeah we're gonna do one called late last night all righty all right <clears throat> feels weird to be sitting for this one usually i'm you can stand it no no i'll stay down here it's nice and comfy okay, okay here we go uh, let's lay on the couch <laughs> Maybe. Here we go. <laughs> oh, two, three.
Well, I hope you're all doing okay out there and keeping warm. It's a sort of a chilly overcast day here in Balmer, Merlin, Hoon. And uh, cold down near to the border. As Nancy says, we're getting it. That's Thanks, definitely <laughs> that's definitely the kind of tune where you're getting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember the first time I ever heard somebody in bluegrass say, "Get it, son." It was new. It was a new moment in my life. That's a real rite of passage. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... <laughs> you know. I hear... I hear the kids are saying that really slaps these days. That slaps. That slaps. I hope someone will say that to me one day. Man, that really slaps. <laughs> This is, uh, this is this is one that I, I don't know if it would be appropriate to say getting it on. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a, a mellow tune. This comes from a, a great Canadian fiddler named Calvin Bolrath, and it's kind of made the rounds in the old time world the past few years. <clears throat> and uh, just a beautiful melody. And I uh, worked it out on banjo here. It's called Chirps and Williams. Mm, a tricky one to play after that heart pounding song. Okay, here we go. Deep breaths. <laughs> say the first time I heard this that tune was in uh, this living room uh, right oh, there yeah no, that's right me too I remember this the uh, famous in my book Mark Kiliansky uh, one of our best pals he's in the band Golden Shoals with yeah. Amy Alvey they would visit Baltimore all the time 
And there was one time... Uh, when... I feel like we were in the middle of a party. There was like a oh, was ton a... of people here. It was loud. And I just looked over at Mark and he was just kind of staring off in the space. No, it, it was the end. It was the tail end of a party. And That's he was right. Playing yes. it. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> it was very meditative. I just remember listening to him play that tune. So that was my first introduction to that tune. And I've always thought of Mark when I hear, when I hear that tune. Amy's tuning in, so hey there, Amy hey. of Golden Shoals. Okay, what do we have now? Let's do Ooh. let's do a fiddle tune. Why not? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Let's do Grigsby's. Sure. Yeah. All right. I initially I didn't have this one on the set list, and then Alex worked it up on banjo, so I was like, we should play this one. I like it. It's called Grigsby's Hornpipe. I'm gonna pull out the fiddle. so many of you out there tuning in from all over the place. You can let us know where, you're, where you are. It's always kind of fun to see where everybody is in these virtual streams. It's kind of the one nice thing about these things is you can bring all these folks together from far corners of the earth that otherwise wouldn't be able to join me in my little living room here. This one's called Good Peace Hornpipe. You ready? Yep. In Calico for those of you fiddlers. Playing along.
Rigsby's Hornpipe. Mm. A lot yeah. of parts in that one. Okay, what do we have now? Let's do... Oh, and now for something completely different. Something, this is way different. This is... Uh, I've been looking forward to playing this one. It's definitely... Not one... That's what I usually about. hear on uh, Clawhammer style, but we're going to give it a try. It is a, a classic banjo tune. It comes from the great Earl Scruggs. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it in the Earl Scruggs, Cousin Jake Tolick uh, format. Space and banjo. Classic claw hammer banjo, upright bass, just like Earl Scruggs intended. Yep. He was an innovating traditionalist, you know. There's a little bit of bluegrass, or yeah. bluegrass. <laughs> Here's Foggy Mountain Special. Secretly, a bluegrass banjo player disguised uh. as a claw hammer player here. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that was uh, that was a thing. All right, here. Let's see. What do we have next? We've got a. Uh, oh man, another change of pace. The gourd. Well, this is. Uh, you know, I haven't been on an airplane in a in a long time, um, but I feel like we all have we all have our airplane album. You know, like the record that we listen to when we take a long flight to kind of calm us down. There's always a moment in every flight where I'm like, this is it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> One little bit of turbulence, Going you know. <laughs> and we're still on the ground, you know. We're just like, yeah. No. <laughs> um, but um, this is uh, from an album that I 
have spun many times on my uh, my iPod on the on the plane. Uh, it's from the late Tony Rice and Peter Rowan. They did an album together, um, and I uh, they played a bunch together. And this is one of their songs that uh, Peter Rowan's song. Tony Rice plays some beautiful uh, guitar on the album, and uh, certainly lost one of the greats on Christmas Day this past year. Big Tony Rice fan over here. I'm sure many of you as well, big fans of his music and all of us impacted by his playing, even in the old time world, you know, such an influential guitarist um, and singer. And uh, this is one that, um, like I said, a Peter Rowan song, it's called Angel Island. <clears throat> it tells a, a story about a couple that was separated on Angel Island. They were immigrating from China and they were split up in the uh, immigration center there. Here it is.
Woods. That's Angel <clears throat> Island. Rest in peace, Tony. And uh, I happen to see one comment that I will echo here from Rachel. Real old-time musicians take their record players on the plane to listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I do have my record player right here. Do you have my, little, my little bobblehead is keeping it company. <clears throat> Say hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm an adult. <laughs> Real grown up with my own little doll. <laughs> Are up there. Some doll guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Susie, that's a request it's going out to Donna. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, what's up next? We're gonna stay in the key of E. Uh, key of E. Old time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know. there's a lot of E and F in this set list. Not, not very old timey. Not much, but we, I'm gonna keep it old timey and I'm gonna crack into a bubbly water. Ah. You know? That I can't wait to drink at a million festivals in the years coming. But see, the key is a different. You know, old time music has a specific brand of bubbly water. What kind is that? It's a new year, you know? Yeah. There's a new one every year, right? <laughs> bunch of bands my goodness we play with my dad Ken Culloden we recorded that song on our latest record 
Where am I going here? B? You're going E, G sharp, B, E. We also play in another band called Triumph C Junction with our buds Patrick McAvinu, who's recently joined the Navy band, and Sean McComiskey, who is an amazing physical therapist as well. And uh, a couple times a year we perform just as you are seeing us now. A lot of folks call me Big Al, it's the nickname my dad used to call me, and got revived later in life, and some folks like to call Brad Dadley. <laughs> Big Al and Dadley. Big Al and Dadley, that's her, her other name. And uh, this is one that, uh, this is a tune I wrote. Um, it, I was inspired one night, I was out in my backyard actually watching these birds uh, descend upon this chimney, this abandoned chimney at this factory near my house here in Baltimore. And every evening, around 7.15 or so, for a couple weeks in the fall, they'd swirl around this chimney like a big tornado, and then all of a sudden they would just dive into the chimney, and it was this beautiful sight to see these birds, just one after one, diving into the chimney, thousands of them, and they would stay in the chimney overnight as they were migrating. And I was inspired by this, and I named this tune after the, uh, the type of bird. It's called Chimney Swifts.
Thank you. That's Chimney Swifts, an original and likely to show up on my upcoming solo record. Let's do another fiddle tune. All right. Let's keep it about animals. So this is a good time for a bathroom break, everybody. <laughs> uh, Actually, if you're uh, into fiddle tunes, and I, I bet you are, <laughs> tuning in here at the quarantine happy hour. Brad, you know that. <laughs> I mean, you could safely assume that. Go ahead, sorry, excuse me. We have our old time jam every other Tuesday night over at the Baltimore Old Time Jam, just around the corner from the quarantine happy hour. Yeah, you can uh, go out all, go out all night, you know. Drop by the jam, hit up the quarantine happy hour. My dad and Alex and I sit right here in this living room and play old time tunes. It's kind of a moderate tempo, so you can play along. We've been doing that for, oof, probably about seven or eight months now. We've done it for 28 hours total. 28 hours of jamming. Yeah, and we, right. if, if, if there are some tunes you want to learn, we play them all slow. We start them slow, and then we pick them up to a moderate tempo. It's yeah. a great way to learn some tunes and hang out. And, and, have and it's good for, keeps us yeah. jamming and playing tunes. You know, that's the thing, of course, we all miss the most, probably, oh, is yeah. being able to get together with our friends and jam late at night festivals like Clifftop or Mount Airy or out west, Weezer. Someday I'll make it out there. I know there are a lot of folks tuning in from the west coast right now. Or the Portland Old Time Gathering, which is happening Ooh. on this page. I would love to go to that someday. Yeah, same. Man, I've heard great things. And there's a virtual Portland Old Time Gathering coming up. Okay, here we go. This is a little bit of the Polecat Blues. <laughs> <laughs> Turn down the mic a little bit in case I play a little loud. <laughs>
All right, the Polecat Blues. <laughs> that would not be one we play at the, the old time jam, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, of course, as we've done in this whole set, I feel like we play like a rager and then right into a really mellow tune. A little variety, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm going to oh. kick Alex off for one. we got time for just a couple more. I know we're running low on time. Uh, we're going to do... Uh, when you say kick me off, can I just sit here on the sofa? You can sit here on the sofa and listen. Just uh, don't check your phone or... I... <laughs> you know, <laughs> do anything that's distracting back there. <laughs> I'll try. A real audience member now. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> I know, I know. What are you talking about? I know, I know. Okay, here's one. Uh, so amidst uh, quarantine, I, you know, uh, caught up on some uh, some Netflix, and some movies. <laughs> I've been slacking a lot lately, and um, I uh, went back to you know watch some movies that I were like a little too risque for me as a child that my parents you know wouldn't let me see when I was just like a little kid. And one of those movies was Cold Mountain, and I never saw it. And I know it has great music, and I, uh, you know, I heard this song in uh, in the soundtrack, and worked it out here on the chord banjo. I wish my baby was born. <clears throat> Just a couple nice. more. I guess I'll yeah, I'll grab my banjo. What are we doing next? Let's see that a little bit. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do one here. Just a couple more. I think we're out of time, but we'll do it for a couple minutes if that's okay. This is one that uh, 
actually was written by a neighbor of mine. And it's one that I feel like every time it's played with friends at a festival or a musical gathering, it's always like the highlight of the day is singing this song as a group. It's just one of the most beautiful songs. And uh, just a couple blocks away from here, uh, Hazel Dickens lived right in this neighborhood, the great bluegrass singer and a resident of Baltimore for many years. This neighborhood's called Hamden, and there are a lot of uh, folks who moved here from Appalachia looking for work in the city and uh, probably lived in a house just like this. In fact, I, can, I know the house that she's living now. It's a donut shop. You probably have no idea. <laughs> but uh, this is one of my favorite Hazel Dickens songs. Feel free to sing along out there wherever you are. patronize the business, I will let them know. They are standing on the site of some bluegrass royalty. you come and sing for me from Hazel Dickens. Here goes. to 
sing for me. All right, well, that brings us to the end of our show. We have time for just one more. Thank you so much to Riley, Calcagno, and uh, I see Vivian Oliva is helping out, and uh, of course, Charmaine, and uh, Gabrielle McRae, and Barry with the horse snacks. It's a whole team effort here with this quarantine happy hour, and it's been quite a, a bright light amidst yeah. this time. I've Thank been you. tuning into these shows. Uh, from the start of these, and it is, uh, it's really nice to, to remain connected and keep this music alive. So thanks so much for your work, and uh, thanks so much to all of you for joining us here and uh, tuning in. And uh, look forward to catching up in real life soon, but this will do for now, and we've got time for one more. Before we go, let's see. Oh, I want to make a quick announcement about the upcoming online old-time banjo festival that Kathy Fink and I are running the end of January. We've got a a lineup of banjo teachers that include Kathy and myself. We've got uh, Ivy Shepard, Cameron DeWitt, um, Dan Gellert is teaching, Steve Boffman. The horse necks are playing, and so is Maggie Shar. and that's the weekend of January 29th and 31st. It's all virtual. It's uh, the online Old Time Banjo Festival. You can look it up on uh, Facebook and find it on our websites and all that. Um, we've done a few of those, and they've been a lot of fun. Great uh, opportunity for workshops and some concerts, a jam as well. And then, uh, anything else? I, I, you can listen to me on the radio. I'm actually on the air right now on Folk Alley every weeknight from 7 to midnight. It's the magic of radio. That's how it's working tonight. And, uh, yeah, I'm on there. And, of course, on Bluegrass Country Radio as well every Wednesday and Friday afternoon. It's been an old time of bluegrass music. Okay, well, let's do, uh, let's change it up a bit here. Yeah. Well, for those of you who have stuck around, you lucked out. <laughs> we got a, a little change of scenery. Bear with us here. Just to give us a little bit of that, you know, flavor. Ooh. Oh yeah. yeah. Party time. They didn't teach that, that one to me in old time school. <laughs> All right, well, we've, uh, this is a vibe shift, if there ever was one. This is, uh, you're, you're in the, this house is called the Tater Patch, and we have all kinds of fun parties and house concerts. This disco ball sits right in the center of the living room for special occasions. Shows up every year at Clifftop <laughs> like, on the side of the road by my campsite. Square dance, Midnight square, square dances dance. have been all the rage. Yeah. Can't wait to do that again, but we uh, we tie this disco ball up oh, in yeah. a tree. We as in Jonathan Jonathan Bokey, Bokey our good pal, who <laughs> climbs up these trees. Yes. That's right, OTAF disco. Oh, we do have the OTA oh, yeah, lights. They're not, they're not in the image. We'll turn them on at the end. Yeah, just, for, just because. Yeah. As we go out. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks again for being with us, everybody. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs>
Here's a little bit of uh, Ruben's Train. <laughs> Top vibes. <laughs> I could have played that one for another hour, but you don't want to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for being with us here at the quarantine happy hour. See you down the road at another one. Please. See you out there in the real world. Till then, we'll see you in the comments section. Be well. I can't wait to look back through these comments. Oh man, I got.